getting Rad Pro on your FS5000 by Boss and Geiger counter isn't hard at all. First thing you want to do is power off the device. You want to unscrew the back four screws in the corner right here, take it off, unplug the battery connector, and then get your programmer. You have an ST-Link V2, and you need to wire it in such a way where you have, over here I have gray as clock, purple as data, blue as ground, green as three volts. And on the other side, I have green, which is three volts. Then you have purple, which is data, gray, which is clock, blue, which is ground. Very important that you remember three volts is green and it is facing up relative to the PCB. You want to plug it in like so, so it fits the pads right here, the close up. Next thing, is you want to kind of like push it at an angle, make sure not to accidentally touch over 100 volts running through that. You want to slightly push it against this so it gets a proper connection. Next thing you want to do is plug in your ST link. You need ST link, second link in the description. You want to go to releases and download the latest release for you. Plug in your USB cable and then you want to press connect. It will download the firmware file that's currently on here. And if you want to, you can back that up in case you don't like Rad Pro. And then once ready, you need to select a file. So you go over to open and then from the Rad Pro release that you downloaded, you want to go to Boston and you have firmware. And then from here, you select the firmware file you want. I went with FS5000, this needs to be right. And then portrait mode, English, and that's about it. You open that file into here and then you can press the red button to flash. Just to note, there will be a pop-up and in the pop-up, you need to put in an address, put the same address as the go-to address, which is 0x08 and then zeros. Plug in the battery connector and test whether it works. As for a little tip after, and that is if you have the J321 tube like me, you want to go over to Geiger tube sensitivity and select the J321 tube. And then once you're done, that's about it. You can play around with settings, play around with all stuff, and you can play chess if you want to. Hopefully this tutorial informed you how you should program your Geiger counter, and that's pretty much it. Enjoy finding uranium and have a nice day.